Now these filters, this is one that I've used, uh, I've actually gone through, this is my third ceramic element with this particular filter. Uh, as when you clean these, you know, you clean this up and down, and then so you get two, you get two strokes in the middle versus the end, so it becomes an hourglass. And you use this to check, and like this right here, since it slides over real easy, it's time to replace. Versus a good filter, see there's quite a bit and it won't, won't go through. Now if I'm using this filter by myself to clean, I take one of these in the field with a sponge. And that way I can uh, use it to sponge off if I don't, you know, if it's just more mud than to a braid. Then we issue, and then also you can fill this up with water and kind of squeeze the water in. Because the water comes in to the filter through here and then it's the pressure pushes it through the ceramic through the ceramic and then it comes out here so you don't want to get any of the water any of the concentrated uh, cooties I guess for a better word on the outside you don't want it to get here where you're uh, you don't want any of the gazenta to get on the gazauda part because you don't want to get you don't want any. You don't want to get sick on there. So I, uh, I always try to use. I always use chemical treated water when I'm cleaning it. Also, I try to filter it and then use the chemical treatment in the water so that it uh, makes sure that it's clean. And I'll just give a quick demo uh, how I clean it. Not sterilization. That's a different part. But how I clean it. So whether I'm whether I'm cleaning it in the sink. Or I'm using the uh, you know purified water. I try not to clean it like this because in the water that comes from here goes over the top. I always try to clean it with the water flowing going this way. Now this isn't very dirty, so I don't have to. Uh, clean it much. Should be all the same. When it's wet it's this orange color. And I try to do a circular motion at the top and the bottom because that kind of because you don't do those you can't get those as clean going up and going up and down. And then I really try to get the gazauta clean. Quick, easy. It's a lot easier at home than it's a lot easier cleaning it at home than in the field, only because of the water contamination issue. Then I use this aquarium air pump to dry out the filter. Uh, Make sure the inside's completely dry because uh, it needs to look this color, but then it also needs to be dry on the inside. Because when you put it together again, uh, you can you can get mold.